So in this video, we're going to talk to you about the muscle testing method. And so you'll see I'm just standing, my, my feet are hip width apart. Just see if you can see that my feet are just a little hip width apart, okay? And all I'm doing is uh, standing and noticing that I have a little bit of a sway. Now, of course, when we're standing, we don't normally notice that sway, but you can just uh, notice that your actually body is making these micro adjustments uh, continually as you stand. Now, what you wanna do with the sway test for muscle testing is ask a question that you know you'll get a yes to. So for example, my name is Jenny. Well, that's a yes for me. It's a no for you, maybe, <laughs> if you're not a Jenny. So. Well, I would ask, is my name Jenny? And I would fall, feel myself uh, fall forward or back. Okay, so is my name Jenny? I fall forward. Uh, is my name John? I fall back. And so um, what we want to do is if you have like something, uh, for example, I have an essential oil here. So uh, this is frankincense. So I can hold this frankincense and I can say, is this good for me? Now I lean forward with that. So I know for me that that's a yes. And so you can do this with any supplements. You can do this at the grocery store. <laughs> um, you know, I very, I, you'll see me at the, if you ever saw me at the grocery store, you'd laugh because you, you know, I'll pick up the almond milk and ask, Hey, is this good for me? If it's a new brand uh, and, and I'll ask questions as I'm shopping, uh, trying out different brands and different products and different fruits, veggies, all that kind of stuff. So um, you can do it with any kind of supplements. You can also do this with emotion. So you can be asking, uh, do I have trapped anxiety? We get a yes. Uh, can I clear it? Yes. Do I need to know anything else? No. And so I can just clear that anxiety, clear that anxiety, clear that anxiety. Okay. And then I'm going to step into calm, step into calm, step into calm. And so that would be an example of a uh, sway test muscle testing for emotions. You can do this, of course, with core beliefs. Do I believe, uh, am I worthy of success? So I lean forward for that. If I fell back for that, I would do the same action, that unpacking method. Okay. And then stepping into worthiness and uh, doing it again. So that's the sway test. Now there's a couple other tests and you can Google muscle testing because there are so many ways to muscle test. You can use a pendulum. Uh, and, and just to remember with muscle testing, you are essentially checking in with the energy of your body. This is a way for you to connect with and talk to your subconscious, okay? And so uh, the next uh, muscle test that I like to share is uh, it's it's rubbing the surface. So you can actually touch the surface uh, of, a, of, of your desk, of a table, and you can ask the same thing. So am I Jenny? I get a smooth surface. I say, am I John? I get a hard stop. And so it's sticky. So you'll get um, smooth for yes and sticky for no. You can do that with your fingers as well. And you can see you can rub and you can ask yes and it's smooth and no and it's sticky. Okay. And uh, that one takes a little bit of practice, but it's great when I'm lying in bed and I can't sleep and I'll be thinking about uh, different questions that I can ask. Um, there's lots, there's, there's, uh, one like this, where you can pull your fingers apart with a yes and a no, I'm not going to teach you all of them, but just to suggest, find the test. that's a good fit for you. I love this way test for its simplicity. And I feel it's my, one of my strongest tests for, for, you know, if I'm really, if I'm asking something that, you know, I really want to know the answer to if my husband asks me something, I stand up and I, and I do that sway test. Uh, as my kind of like, um, I, I feel like it's my fail safe one. It's my, it's my simplest. Uh, but there's also this one, which I use all of the time. Uh, I use in all my sessions and that is very uh, powerful as well. So you find the one that's fit for you. Uh, and, uh, and we will uh, see you back here in the next module.